All right, so here we go. Uh, rate the trailers, Smash Edition uh, for Ultimate. And here's the point where they go all out, right? This is the moment that Nintendo and Sakurai realize that, oh man, we should put all of our budget into the trailers because that's where people flip out the most. At this point, every trailer, I think, from this point forward is absolutely refined and designed to sort of blow your mind in every single way possible. Let's start off with the first one. Yeah, we all thought this was a Splatoon trailer, for sure. I think the idea was that maybe this is a new Splatoon expansion or Splatoon 3? Trying to go back into the head of the 2018 version of myself. How ominous. <laughs> they didn't even have a title yet? Did they not even have a title? Oh my god. Well, that's a great teaser trailer, right? Fantastic teaser trailer for something that people were presuming was gonna happen soon, if not hopefully soon. I think that's like a solid like nine out of 10 teaser. Very good job of making you think it was something else. There was the misdirect and then the reveal and then the satisfaction that came after. Nine out of 10, great teaser, me likey. Yeah, here's the one, dude. All right, here we go. So this is the first time I think we actually see real gameplay. <laughs> Can't believe they brought Mario back. Showing the redesigns, the fact that Link is uh, Breath of the Wild version. Jeez, are they really going to go through every single one? What a, what a smart thing to do, like show their new, the new demonstrations of what the characters are changing, uh, the new moves they have and stuff like that, but also, also giving really cool flares. Every character gets like this moment, right? Where it's like, oh, if we're going to show off Inkling for a total of, you know, five seconds, what do we do to show people that these characters are cool? Let's have Wii Fit Trainer and Zero Suit Samus try to murder each other. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like that, right? That's like the little bit of extra effort that's important. And then, oh my god. Oh my god. It was a big deal. The fact that Snake actually came back? That's a big deal. Bayonetta's return. Not Snake, but everyone, everyone. And the music is just escalating? Oh my God. Dude, the music is like one of the best parts in my opinion. 
I think the, I think the, the music bringing this to the point that it's at is what makes this great. Oh, wasn't this? Wait a minute. Yeah, Wolf wasn't in here yet, technically. This was like Wolf coming back. That's a trailer, dude. What what what's the point of our trailer? We're literally going to show you that like every single character is here and that's the whole focus. The whole focus is that everything is here. I think this is a 10 out of 10 trailer. I really do. I think for like what they're trying to achieve, this is 100% like a 10 out of 10. Daisy? What? No, this is not. This is a non-trailer. Daisy is a non-trailer. Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. All right, so Daisy's trailer was a, uh, a 2 out of 10. That's 10 for the chat? Of course it is. That's a 2 out of 10. I don't think I've seen this one since um, he came out. Oh, this is so sick. I forgot about this. Mega Man's there as well. Mario is dead. Mario's actually dead. Ridley hits the big time. They literally include... Wow, man! Wow, this is... This is pretty great. Wow, the Metroid all over his head? This is pretty great. And he just dies. Wow, dude. This is a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 trailer. It's not even over. 9 out of 10. Fantastic trailer. Get everyone super hyped and excited. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I love the intrigue at the beginning of these trailers, man, where it's just like, yo, what is it? Huh? Wait, what? Who's it gonna be? You have no idea until, like, the reveal. But anyone that's anyone that, like, knows this situation is like, oh, dude, it's a- it's gonna be a Belmont. Poor Luigi. And there's the big reveal. Yeah, at this point, you know. I can't believe Luigi is dead! Jesus, dude, these are so good. Oh my god. These are so good, man. The big ass stage reveal as well. 
Man, they get to use their, their final smashes, which are way better sounding or better looking now. And then the second reveal. Be gone. You don't belong in this world, monster. <laughs> Surprise, there was two. Yeah, this is a great trailer, man. The the whole like the secondary reveal is too good. This is a 10 out of 10. This one's easily a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. And another, another crossover. This is easily a 10. Luigi's still dead? Easy. I, the easiest 10 out of 10 in my whole life. Fantastic. Crossover? I didn't do that on purpose. Damn, they're zooming in on that character model. So I think this is going to be sort of similar to, you know, the Peach reveal. Ten out of ten easily, right? This is pretty cool, though. Did he really have his own unique final smash? Hmm. Sorry, Daisy. Did I say Peach? Same thing. And Dark Samus was slightly different too? The music's pretty cool. Oh, she has different poses and everything. I just realized. That's unique. Yeah, some unique animations here at least. Virtually the same, just better, just different poses and stuff. And Dark That's Samus cool. Join the battle. You may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly requested. They're each slightly different than the fighters they're based on, so pick whoever you enjoy most. Very slightly. As you can see, depending on your settings, you can either display all Echo Fighters separately on the Fighter Select screen or stack them with the fighters they're based on. When stacked... I've never, I've never actually done this. We always keep it all separated. Yeah, it's like a, uh, what, it's like a 4 out of 10. At least there's a couple of reveals there. Yeah, no one ever stacks them, which is weird. It's okay, right? Eh, it's okay. Oh my god. The misdirect on this one. This one's fantastic. <laughs> Look at this big, ugly weirdo. <laughs> and the memes were created. Man. Great reveals, you know? Just such, such love and care put into each reveal here. This is, this is a stupid character, man. He's so dumb. I mean, and that's like his charm is how goofy and stupid he is. And he's only in Smash because everyone was like, why isn't K. Rule in Smash? <laughs> like, 
to me, it seems like this was a meme character come true and realized in the best way possible. I think I give that one a nine. Yeah, not nine out of 10 because it's unexpected. The reveal's really good. It lacks a bit of like the hype and excitement of the Castlevania trailer, but I still think it's a good nine out of 10. I, I think giving it an eight is a bit too low. I was thinking of giving it an eight, but no, I'm like, ah, it's a nine. That, that's a long requested character that no one thought was going to ever make it into the game. And it's a villain. That's a big deal. It's actually a villain. Oh, we all thought this was for Animal Crossing. Because they had been putting trailers out for Animal Crossing forever. And it was not out yet, obviously. Or we had been he hearing about it for a very long time. Oh, by this point, the game wasn't revealed? It was just announced. Interesting. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Now she wasn't an echo because she actually did have different moves, right? Like the fishing thing? It's cute, right? It's like they know, like, I hope you'll cheer me on. Like, they know this is going to be like an off kind of character. This is a weird, goofy, goofy one that, you know, you can't have everything be super serious and mind bending. But I think it's a 7 out of 10. It's a cute trailer that has like, you know, it's moments of you thinking it's going to be something else and then it ends up being something else. I think it's cute. It's a 7 out of 10. It's charming. First person view. Bring it on. <laughs> All right. He already looks better than Ken has looked in most games he's been in, especially in 3D. Oh, wow. The mid. Whoa. Holy shit. Whoa. Little Mac is actually dead. That's right. Yeah. Wait a minute. Was this the first reveal of Incineroar as well? Oh my god. Oh my god. So you wanna fight fire with fire, huh? Hey. Actually, that's I forgot about that. That's actually kind of sick. I forgot about that. If they were to put, you know, the variety of Pokemon into the game, Incineroar is a pretty good pick, right? You get... You get Luchador Pokemon.
Yeah, you know what? I was gonna say as a just a Ken trailer. I'm like, this is kind of weak. Everyone's lined up. Dude, you know what this really reminds me of? Like, these elements. I'm- pr I, this really feels like, like the crowd and everything. Dude, this really feels like a Tekken trailer. Anyone remember Tekken Tag Tournament 2? Damn, my chat is on board. Damn, my chat is on board. Everyone immediately saw, saw what I was seeing. I'm like, this feels like a Tag 2 trailer. It really does. And it's most likely because it's- it's likely the same studio that did the same, uh, that, that, that did the trailers for Smash as well as Tekken because it's Bandai Namco, right? That would make a lot of sense that they had the same connections. This is a really good trailer, but I don't think it's over an eight. I think it's a, I don't think it's a nine and I don't think it's comfortable getting a seven. I think it's an eight. Uh, it's pretty good. Not amazing, even though it's Ken, which is great for me, even though I don't really play Ken in this game. I don't like the Shotos very much. It's pretty good, eight out of 10. Oh, this is one of the weirdest additions to this game. <gasps> Easily one of the weirdest additions. Yeah. And was like, was this technically the first DLC or was this character free? I can't remember. It was free. Yeah. Plant was free. All right. It was almost like they knew that this character isn't going to blow everybody's mind. So we're not going to give him a big, expensive, crazy trailer. Like, he just gets a reveal, and there he is, and here you go. To me, it feels like a 5 or a 6, and I feel like 6 is too high, so I'm giving it a 5. Yeah, that's a 5 out of 10 kind of trailer. Especially considering the other Ultimate trailers so far, it's a 5. This is Joker. The mission is go. Wait a second! I mean, he went alone? What's so important that he'd run off by himself? There's only one thing the Phantom Thieves of Hearts specialize in. He's there to steal a treasure. Have you already sent a calling card? We're not the ones sending a card this time. In fact, we've been invited. Invited to steal the greatest treasure of all. <laughs> Smash Bros. What? Is for real? What? What? I still hear, remember us. I can still feel best. what we felt at that time. What? What the? Stuff. What the hell? What? Ah! Persona. I am thou. Thou. The strength of thy will and rage against all challengers. That's a pretty great reveal. <laughs> what? What the hell? No gameplay, right? This is the problem: is that there was no there was no gameplay in association with this one. But I think just in terms of like, it's not the actual proper trailer, right? It's like, this is like part one of what the trailer is. But I think if we're going to take this one and, and considering its reveal, I think like the shock of this was a 10 out of 10. It was definitely like a holy, holy flipping free holy. Like this was a, this was a big crazy thing because it was like, that's impossible. How the hell is that? How, that's impossible type of thing. And, and this is as somebody that's not even a Persona fan, right? That's, that's crazy. So I, I actually give that a 10 out of 10.
just in terms of the reveal and the quality of what they did show. But now we have to also consider this, because this is like part two. I was about to say. Because that was just the Game Awards trailer. Uh, are you sure he can handle this? I mean, he's got a knife and a gun. Sure <laughs> I mean, he he's got a knife and a gun. Oh, no. It looked pretty tough. Harness the wow. power of the heart to summon a persona. Unleash the rebellious spirit growing inside you. Persona! Oh, Arsene. Arsene? Can't he use a more powerful persona? What are you talking about? Our set is awesome! It's Joker's main persona! As long as you hold on to your rebellious spirit, our set will give your attacks an extra punch. They got the entire voice cast? Yeah. That's a big deal. Instead of his grappling hook. If Joker is attacked while our set is around, he can counterattack with Tetracarn and Makarakarn. Well, this is almost like a tutorial. This is... Mementos? The palace birthed from the hearts of the masses, right? Yes. And Mementos has a little secret. Isn't its entire existence a secret? The base color changes depending on the music. <gasps> Persona 3. Seriously? That's awesome! I can hardly this is pretty cool, dude. If you're like a Persona fan, you are losing your mind. Let's help him out. Wait, like your brain is absolutely dizzy from excitement right now. No! Smash is looking cool, a eh, Joker. This 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 feels pretty amazing. I don't know. I'd kind of argue that like this reveal and the the only problem is that like the trailers are split. I would say this is still like a 10 out of 10, right? I think the other one and this one included, this is definitely some 10 out of 10 material. Where there's a lot of love and care and attention and animation and all this unique stuff that they threw in there. It's a, it feels like a big, I mean, I get it. People won't care about, you know, Persona very much every once in a while. It'll definitely be like the naysayers, but in terms of like what they showed and how they showed it, I'm not a Persona fan. But my bias is definitely not showing here. That's a 10 out of 10. I'll tell you when my bias is showing. Got drop kicked. Damn, this trailer is really cool. The hero. The hero. And Square Enix is giving them everything, you know? <laughs> Was he banned? Did he have that insta kill move, right? No, he was never banned. Got it. So he was banned. The 
entire Akira Toriyama pantheon. It's a pretty big reveal, too, that you get all, like, the whole bunch of the dragon questers. Where's critical hit? Where Where's critical hit? Is that technically on his smash attack? It was, it, was it that in that any hit could be a critical hit? Man. I think this one's pretty good, right? I still think this, I think it's like, I feel this one's a nine out of 10. Maybe not the entirety of it. it. The beginning of the trailer is really cool, but it lacks a bit of like excitement. I think it might be something to do with like the music choice that they had, but I think it's still solid, right? It's like, this is obviously really big in like Japan. Yeah, I'll give it like a nine out of 10. Because I know that obviously getting a Dragon Quest character in there is a pretty big deal. I think personal. I don't know. I'm not going to go any lower than that. Let's just leave it at nine. That seems like a pretty generous keep forthcoming because it's a big deal character. And he did get a big deal trailer. I thought, I, I, wait. <sighs> I legit thought. What? Oh my god, that's so funny. K. Rool's sleeping with him. The initial reveal. <laughs> <laughs> then the misdirect. <laughs> Everyone's cheering and shit. <laughs> Yeah, this is a, uh, this is already a pretty exciting trailer. Also an impossible character, right? Impossible character, great trailer. Yeah, they put so much love and care into these, into these trailers for Smash Ultimate into the reveal itself. They really wanted to blow people's minds by the reveal. So many things to collect. So much collect. A rare 3D platformer collectibles everywhere. Not really impossible since Microsoft and Nintendo were pretty close. Well, that this was sort of the beginning of that, man. This was like the the one of the first establishing elements of that. Where later on, that yeah, Ori would show up on Switch and stuff like that. Like this, this was the thing that sort of began a lot of that stuff. I think this is a 10 out of 10. Yeah. You feel the excitement in this trailer. You feel the fact that, oh, this was an impossible thing. And it's actually, you know, we're in Smash Brothers and now Mega Man gets to fight Banjo-Kazooie, you know? It's a big deal. 10 out of 10. Oh man. Oh, this trailer is already amazing. It's already amazing. Already. It's already incredible. 
Oh my god, it's already incredible. Kyo, it's not Kyo. It's not Rio. <laughs> this trailer is already incredible. It's not Andy or Joe's bitch ass. <laughs> this is already amazing. Geese is lease. <laughs> he kills himself <laughs> trying to get it. It's not Nakaruru. This is this is so incredible. Oh my god. After not seeing this for a couple of years, this is incredible. <laughs> Dude. I'd argue this is one of the greatest trailers ever made. Jesus, dude. And it's a second, yeah, it's a two-parter. Ah, uh, this is an 11 out of 10 type of situation. And we have to, we have to move forward to get the second part. I think this is an 11 out of 10 kind of situation. Particle. And he was the most fun Shoto in the game, who knew? God, this is so sick, dude. This is still so sick. Also one of the best stages. Get on the big boss. Jesus, man. This is an 11 out of 10. 11, 11 out of 10 trail. I can't even, I think it's arguably one of the greatest trailers ever made. Everything about it is so much love, attention, and care. So many weird misdirects too. This came after the Terry trailer? has finally come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies! <laughs> what were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Really? Are you prepared to die? <clears throat> really? I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. Oh, um, sure. There is no other choice. You must join Smash. Huh? Join Smash Brothers already! What in the world are you waiting for? I remember at this point in the trailer, like, people in my chat were like, this can't be real. Like, it's a misdirect. People were still like, even after that moment happened, people were still like, no, 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 that can't be that, no. They're, okay, it's gonna be something else. There's no way. Wait a minute, why'd they make a whole screen for so him too? Joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself. It's still a misdirect. It's still a misdirect. He's gonna run into Dante down here or something. See, too many swordsmen are there? Yeah. And you, you wield the sword as well? What will you do? Huh. So that is how you plan to win the day? I'm gonna become a girl! So I reward your cleverness this time. 
This isn't. This doesn't. This is like the second reveal, right? The fact that there's like the the double character, the monster hunter element. There's no build up. Yeah. It it's all super flat. Of anyone, you should be able to handle the heroes. Like the this trailer comes across as insanely flat. And they're doing cool stuff here. They're like showing showing the character abilities off and stuff. Unleash the blinding speed of Failnot. Along with the sword of the creator. Each weapon matches a direction. See, this is actually kind of cool. This is the best this is honestly the best part of the trailer right here. The 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 storied character demonstration. I think this is cool. Yeah. I I yeah. I think my my reaction to watching this a few years a few years later now, a couple years later now is is who and why. Who? And why? Like that that's all I really got. And but that's just reveal related. I think the, a lot of the trailer is good and unique, but the problem is that the the trailer has no momentum. Right? There's nothing that like really bleeds you and builds into this thing that feels like a satisfying conclusion, even if it was a just another Fire Emblem, Emblem character. They could have done something else, right? Maybe it's just because that character's backstory isn't that fascinating. I don't know. I think the pacing of it's all over the place too. I think this is like a solid like five. It's fine. Yeah, that's exactly what I feel about it. This is fine, right? It's fine. What? It's what? What? Fine, right? You know, I, I feel like I'm being sort of generous. Whatever. It's a it's a fine out of ten, which is like the perfect example of like a five. You know, people were pissed, extra pissed. I think at the time of this trailer's reveal, it would have been like a two out of ten for me. After reviewing it now, I'm like, I see the elements that actually makes this trailer okay. It's still a five, right? It's not great. But I don't think there was any reveal in Smash that made people as pissed as this one. People were fucking mad. So the reveal's already out there. Now the big question is, who is it, you know? This is a pretty great trailer. I mean, we already know it's going to be, you know, an arms character. Now the question is who? And that's great. Like, it's got Twin Teal. They're fighting over it. This is a pretty cool trailer, man. I think the announcement part of it is like a six. Like the which character is is like a six, but the quality of the trailer is like a nine. The, the quality of the reveal is like a nine. I think everyone was expecting there to be an arms character in the game too. Right, it seemed like this was definitely a likelihood. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 
Jeez, I don't think we've... Actually, we haven't played this stage because I don't think I downloaded this character. This character was at the beginning of the pandemic. I never bought her <laughs> because we had like no way to play each other reliably. Damn, I'm like, I don't think we've ever played this stage. <laughs> I gotta do that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give that uh, an eight. Eight out of 10, you know? Definitely seemed like the quality of the reveal wasn't super high, but the level that they took it in the trailer was pretty great. So I'm gonna bounce it out at an eight. Oh man, I'm like, I don't know where this is going. For us, I didn't actually remember where this is going for a second. So since I've, since I've not Moancrofted ever in my life, I didn't know what the hell this was even at this point. And then I knew. Oh, does this have his crazy meat victory animation? I don't think it does. Yeah, I, someone's like, I still don't think this is real. It's pretty crazy, dude. Enderman. <laughs> wow, I forgot about that. <laughs> you got, you know what? After the, because I haven't seen this since the disappointment of seeing the trailer like hit me of like, oh God, Steve's in Smash. But you know, without with the perspective and with reviewing the trailer sometime later, uh, I think this is a 10 out of 10. I do. Not an 11 out of 10. I think this is definitely a 10 out of 10 trailer. That, that reveal and that buildup and the way they handle it and then the fact that there's so many multi-reveals throughout it, it's really good, right? This, is, this, this trailer is here to blow some fucking minds. And just because it's not your mind that was being blown, this represents a huge part of gaming, right? That is losing their shit. It literally, yes, that's true. It literally broke Twitter. It destroyed the website Twitter. I think people that are like, like myself on this day, this character was shown off. I wasn't super excited. I just, I definitely wasn't. But with perspective in mind now, it's a great trailer. It's a 10 out of 10 reveal and a uh, 10 out of 10 trailer. But. 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 However. At this point, everyone thinks it's going to be Master Hand or some shit. Right? At this moment, everyone thinks it's like, oh, they're going to make the boss character playable. And at this point, everyone thinks it's Virgil. 
<laughs> at this moment, everyone's like, who the hell is powerful enough to kill the last Smash Brothers bad guy? At this point, we all think it's like, oh, Virgil just, man, it's not Dante, it's Virgil. Holy, oh my God, they put Virgil into Smash Brothers. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! And then the trailer continues. I shall give smashed. And then the entire trailer from this point forward is full of nothing but legendary memes. <laughs> it's still so good. The music choice, too. <laughs> Narrowly stab not stabbing Zelda. Jesus, all this extra CG. No one can kill this dude. Mario dies again? Oh wait, but he doesn't. Dude, this is... Jesus, man. And then we're just gonna recreate Advent Children in this trailer because why not? That shit's a 15 out of 10. That shit broke all the limits. Suddenly it's a 15. Wow, how can you get to 15 out of 10? That's impossible, I know. Because everything about that trailer, that reveal, how it happened and the way it happened was astronomically cool. Like, I mean, granted, I'm an FF7 fan, right? I'm an FF7 fan. But you watch that shit again and holy mother of God, everything about that trailer, the extra CG scenes in the middle, like that shit rivals even like the Mega Man trailer at the start because of the buildup, the crazy buildup of like, who the heck's more powerful than this? You think it could be like three or four different characters before it's revealed who it is. And when it's revealed who it is, it was nothing close to what you were expecting. Nobody, not one person on this God's green earth was ready to be like, oh yeah, Sephiroth is gonna be in Smash. Anyway, yeah, 15 out of 10. It's crazy that, you know, of all the trailers that I would suddenly give one a 15 out of 10. It's crazy that it's like the greatest uh, trailer of all time, practically. It might be, you know, it might be one of the greatest video game trailers of all time. Crazy 15 out of 10, who knew? One day, Pyra just disappeared. So uh, they, did they recreate all these sequences like in-game? They have like their in-game engine and they made these sequences in their in-game engine? Find it anywhere. And at this point, everyone thought it was going to be Rex, right? 
Everyone was like, oh, Rex is going to be the main character. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you. And people thought it was also going to be Xenoblade DLC or something like that? This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... They thought it was a sequel. I got an invitation to join Smash! Huh? Huh? Smash. Well, there you go. Sit back and leave it to me, Rex. Behold the power of the Egypts. Smash player. And the Weeb Lord Sakurai gets his wish. You're pretty much owning them. <laughs> This whole like recreated an engine stuff is really cool here. Mithra? Let me handle this. Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Oh, hey, were these guys planning on leaving? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Yeah, these sequences actually look great, in my opinion. The character is super fun when, it's a, when that's a bonus. Not in this rating. The quality of the character's play uh, doesn't come into effect when I'm rating these trailers. Definitely not. Expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Ooh, fighting words. This is a cute reference. You forget. We're fighters too. I think, I think the trailer is is close to being a ten. I think the the reveal itself is like an eight. You know, I think if you balance that out, it's about like a nine, somewhere in between. Something between like an eight or a nine. It's kind of a laid back trailer, right? A little bit. Even for example, right? Even for example, I think we all can agree the the Steve trailer definitely has a lot better like moments reveal and build up and all that kind of stuff. Like even if you go back and you look at the Steve trailer, like objectively, the Steve trailer is pretty friggin' amazing. Even if you don't give a shit about Minecraft. And this one is kind of like, I think it lies somewhere between an eight to a nine, you know? And this is obviously a character that not everyone's gonna care about, that will do it a lot for some. So I don't know, to me, this is maybe like an 8.5. Yeah, I'm not comfortable giving it an eight or a nine. I think it's like right in the middle, like an 8.5. Am I being way too nice? I don't think so. I think that, dude, they recreated like the in-engine sequences and they put other Smash characters in in-engine sequences from Xenoblade. That's a big deal, dude. And they were littered throughout the whole trailer. Like that's not a small feat. That's a lot of effort that they put into this stuff. We gave a 0.5 to the previous one, right? I think 8.5 is where I would go with this. The thing that actually gets like the smallest score in my opinion is the quality of the reveal. 
right? The quality of the reveal it being a Xeno character, like another Xeno character, is something that we all were sort of presuming was going to happen anyway. We thought it was going to be Rex. And then, it, and then they did a double back, which definitely gives it like a seven in my opinion. And then they, they show that it's like Mithra and Pyra. That's a big deal. So it's like a seven. Even if you're a Xeno hater, it's like a seven. You got to give it some credit. 8.5 out of 10, just to be sure. 8.5. Way better than Byleth. Oh my god, man. Compare that to like the Byleth trailer. Please. Please compare that to the Byleth trailer and be like, tell me that's like, that's, that, that is the, a comparable trailer, dude. No. The Byleth trailer was just weird. Oh, this is great. Who the hell is it? Who the hell's gonna throw Ganon off of a cliff? And at this point, I knew it was Kazuya. This was it. I actually thought it was Heihachi. I thought it was gonna be, it was a Tekken character for sure, but it was like, oh, this might be Heihachi. And now you don't know what the hell you're looking at. And now you look at this and you're like, what the hell am I looking at, man? What, what the hell? It's unfortunate that they're using Tekken 1 music or like maybe Tekken 2 music here. This is some classic Tekken theme. Because it's not very exciting. <laughs> but this is amazing. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's got some pretty great moments, you know? The announcer's a nice touch. These little things are incredible. These little things are incredible. But to me, it doesn't come across as a 10 out of 10. Is that weird? I feel like it's not a 10 out of 10 though. The quality of the reveal is like an eight. I think the trailer is pretty close to being possibly a 10, but the combination of those things don't want me to make it like, oh, this is one of the best ones of all of them. And I think it's a big part of it is the music. I think the choice of music has a very, very huge impact on how I'm feeling throughout this trailer. Hmm. And they chose to go with, I think, like an ancient Kazuya theme. They went with like a Tekken 1 Kazuya theme or maybe Tekken 2. So I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this is a 9 out of 10, right? I feel comfortable saying this is that a 9 out of 10, but this is definitely one of the bigger unexpected characters. Like at this point in Smash Brothers, like we were uh, second to last character away. It was definitely very unexpected that Kazuya was going to take the second to last spot because I would very much consider other Tekken characters much more popular, like Jin, who, who historically did become more popular in Tekken. But Kazuya is the legacy character. He was in almost every single Tekken game outside of what, Tekken 3? I think it's great. I think it's a 9 out of 10. It's just not... It's just not godlike. 9 is good. I think it's a great trailer. Great reveal, too. I was blown away, that's for sure. And this one... It's very relevant. You realize by the time we've gotten to this point, how crazy the Smash reveals have gotten, you know? I think if you if you have a little bit of perspective and you build up to the moment we were right before Smash was revealing its final character when we found out it was Sora, dude, like, look at the character DLC trailers that existed for this game. Look at the reveals that they had building up to this. This was crazy, dude. 
it was almost like, what the hell could they even put into this game that would actually blow our minds? Like, it almost seemed like anything that they could put in here would be disappointing in some way. There would not be a single character that they can put in here that would make everybody happy. And funny enough, I think everyone's kind of happy with the final character. I think some people are a little pissed, but I think genuinely this choice was a very good one uh, for the final Smash character because of the impossibility. So much of this imagery is Dark Souls though, right? Can I tell you? Can I tell you how much of this imagery is literally Dark Souls? Still don't know what it is. And there you go. All the way until the reveal, you have no idea what the hell this thing is going to be. And then this bitch thinks he's Peter Pan and he flies through the door. Yeah, this is pretty nuts. This is pretty crazy. The most requested character to be in Smash Brothers for half a decade. And it actually comes true. That's pretty crazy, man. He learned to fly from Peter Pan. Right, but he's not Peter Pan. He's a bitch! Let's go. Jeez, dude. I think the only thing that they could have enhanced this experience with is if Simple and Clean kicked in. I mean, granted, you got like Yoko Shinomura music kicking right now, and I'm reminded how good the Kingdom Hearts music is watching this trailer. But yeah, if Simple and Clean would have been playing right now, people would have been lo losing their minds even harder, but it's too much of a copyright nightmare. Oh, the references. God, they're re literally reenacting a boss battle here. That's so sick. That's so sick. And the fact that it's like every version of Sora. Yeah, this is an 11 out of 10. I can't give it that personal big ass 15 out of 10, but you know what? As someone that's not even a big Kingdom Hearts fan, you get goosebumps with this shit, right? You get big ass goosebumps. You see Sora and Mickey shaking hands in the end with like the entire representation of the video game industry behind them. It's like, dude, it's a pretty insane send off, right? I, <laughs> yeah, pretty insane send off to, to, to close this entire thing. Did I say Sonic? Did I mean Mario? That's been happening a lot lately. Sonic was back there somewhere. <laughs> Did I say Mickey? <laughs> My stream of consciousness is broken today. So you got Sora here and Master Chief together again, finally. Yeah, this definitely feels like the end of an era type thing. And uh, I even think personally I give this shit an 11 out of 10. The quality of the reveal is a 10 and the trailer it itself is a 10. The only thing that technically hurts this because we were so close 
to when this happened was the fact that this was leaked. And I think that genuinely has a big impact on the quality of the reveal. I think that's kind of a, a contributing factor because we're so close to when this happened is that it was quote unquote leaked. It pretty much came from a marketing leak, unfortunately. Here's the thing. This could have been Fortnite uh, Dingo McBingo. This could have been Blonde McFuckface from Futnut. It could have been whatever the hell that guy was. That could have been true. And imagine the different situation we would have been in if it was Fortnite guy. Imagine. Just put yourself in that situation. We, this would have been a dramatically different world we live in right now. I'm convinced that people that like Fortnite don't even like Fortnite McFucknut. 11 out of 10 final trailer. Um, I think in the great pantheon of Smash Brothers trailers, I personally have really big highlights from Mega Man back from season one. I think Ridley is also a fantastic reveal trailer as well as uh, Simon. Those are really good. I think Joker is genuinely crazy surprising. Like nobody saw that shit coming. Sephiroth and Terry are huge for me personally. But that just goes, and, and obviously Minecraft is a big friggin' deal. There's so many great trailers, dude. There's so many insane reveals. They built themselves up on a pedestal that's too high, right? Like they literally achieved the unachievable and asking anyone to ever achieve anything close to that ever again is going, I don't envy that person. I don't envy that development team. I don't envy whoever the hell is going to be the, the person to take the role of Sakurai in the future of Smash Brothers if he doesn't want to. I don't envy that person, man, because um, you are going to be constantly chasing something that is unachievable and everyone will be referencing how great Ultimate was the whole time. Everybody will always be talking about how good Smash Ultimate was and all those years of waiting for new crazy characters to show up. Yeah, this game's got some pretty incredible characters in it um, and goes on to be probably the greatest roster in any video game ever. Do we have one more trailer? I don't think so, man. I think that was it. What is this? This is the trailer for... Oh, don't shit. Let a single one get away. I forgot about this one. Oh my God, there is one more. Oh, shit. This is the continuation. I'm sorry, the Sephiroth trailer is the continuation to this. Sephiroth is the one that technically you saves everybody and then kills them all. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Sonic and Pikachu dying. <laughs> Just gets toasted. Snake. <laughs> Snake is always good. Good trailer humor. This trailer's super fucking cool, man. Holy hell. This is super cool. Sephiroth changes the timeline and saves everyone. He technically does. Yeah, he shows up right before this happens. Damn, Sephiroth being a time traveler? Who knew? Who knew? And this is, I'm going to pause it. This is why if simple and clean was used, 
people would fucking, it would be fucking over, dude. If Simple and Clean kicked in at that moment for Kingdom Hearts trailer, holy shit, dude, people would be fucking on the floor in, in puddles of emotions and shit. Because, yeah, the, 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 the vocal musical kick-in is a big is a big tap to the human heart type of shit that happens in that you can use for trailers yeah i mean the vocal version specifically the vocal version the impossible vocal version that would not be able to make it And it's funny because this mode is largely like very budget by all concerns. It's mostly thrown together with JPEGs and old art. And then they design gameplay around all that stuff, you know? But it's a big mode. Yeah, I don't know how many actual boss fights they have in it. There's a few, right? Yeah, that's a great trailer, right? That's still a fantastic trailer. I think I'd probably give that one uh, a 9 to 10, something like this. 9 to 10 out of 10. Maybe a 9.5. I think because of the eventual reveal of what it is, I don't think is that crazy, right? Like seeing what it is. I think that everything about the trailer's quality leading up to the gameplay part is really damn cool. It's super sick. Smash Brothers gets what it takes to sell a fighting game. And it got there through several fighting games over many decades of making this shit happen, over like two decades, two and a half decades of making this shit happen. It's crazy looking at all these trailers back to back to back. I don't know, I, it's hard to say like, if there is ever a possibility on Earth One um, that anything like this will happen again for any other game. I would be shocked if other developers weren't looking at what Smash was able to accomplish and not trying to do something similar. I don't mean make a platform fighter. I mean, uh, Fortnite already did it, right? And they're doing it to resounding success. Resounding success. That was fun. That was a fun dissection of, um, of honestly what makes Smash Brothers, one of the elements that makes Smash Brothers so great. What is like one of the key factors that makes Smash good was its trailers and how it put things together and made the impossible happen. To think it all came from this. I remember watching this, watching the commercial for this on the TV, on TV. I remember watching this on TV and, and actually questioning, I had to contact my friend who had an N64. I'm like, wait a minute, th they're fighting each other? What do you mean Pikachu and like Mario are beating the shit out of each other? He's like, yes, it's amazing. I'm like, what? I remember being so absolutely confounded by that shit. Even when I was like, you know, super young, I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. What, huh? This, this Smash Brothers inherently started off as something that's crazy. Just super crazy.